Slide very long name, long title. Uh, Memcached amplification lessons learned. But we want to make sure that we are on the same page, so we can just reduce it to this name, to this title. So we plan to talk about the uh, the uh, at 1.7 terabyte per second attack and what it led to, because it's a scary number just on the face of it. And uh, to begin, uh, so let's determine, uh, the def let's find the definition. What is uh, what is the amplification? What is amplification? Uh, what is amplification attack? It, it worked out that in the internet, most servers uh, uh, send more data than 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 a client uh, than they receive. Uh, the client sent to servers because the servers gen generate data more than they receive data. And then in the event, uh, so if our server uh, is based on TCP, so it's no problem at all, because if TCP has a, it has a mechanism, it is called the three handshake system. So, yeah, so trip, triple handshake, triple handshake, it was not part of the functionality, but can be used to this triple handshake system. So very uh, uh, food for the verification of uh, uh, the remote uh, verification of uh, the source. So the VTP does not have this mechanism, uh, UDP, and uh, every author based on UDP, UDP-based servers, they need to generate their own handshake. Uh, and uh, so, for example, it would take this protocol as quick, uh, and uh, so which is being developed by ITF. Uh, then, uh, during the design, they thought about it, and the first, so the first initial handshake packet uh, 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 to simplify. Yeah, for the server to implement it, it is added uh, with zeros or trash, uh, so up to 1.5 kilobytes. And, and then during the handshake, uh, Quake uh, does the validation of the IP address of the source, uh, the source IP address. So then other VDP protocols didn't do it or not doing it now. And as a result, the attacker can, and the attacker can say to the server, uh, can tell the server that he, he, he speaks on behalf of the victim, and he will send a little query, and the big uh, answer, many packets, uh, several kilobytes, will go back against the victim. Uh, so then the attacker generates one gigabyte, and the, and the victim gets 30 gigabytes. And uh, so that certainly generates problems uh, with the with the link uh, and uh, so with the throughput, uh, etc. And uh, uh, so then, uh, so there are list. There is a long list of protocols vulnerable. So vulnerable to amplification. In the majority of cases, they are old protocols. They are very vulnerable. Like quick, uh, good example. It's a modern, modern designer of the protocols. So, so they think about it. So they prevent that. But so there is. Uh, 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 so the quake, quake steam uh, protocol. Uh, so we, that they have this vulnerability, and irrespective, although they're quite new. Uh, so then uh, vulnerable servers, so these are all uh, obsolete servers and protocols that uh, so now later, so they are updated or replaced or just uh, uh, thrown out. And uh, thus the amount of amplifiers uh, goes down. And uh, but uh, so then there's always a new uh, vulnerable protocol that appears and uh, and the number of amplifiers goes up and then starts to go down. It's a kind of step side, so step, 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 step wise trend up and down. So it looks like a seesaw, uh, uh, like a saw, like, like a saw. Uh, looks like a saw. So then amplification power, depending on the on the data that the and the amount of data that, that the victim can get, di divided by the amount of data that the attacker should send to get the answer to the query, to the query and that the request. And so then the amplification power, the amplification factor should be stay stable down trend as well. But the most important, the, the, the qualification for this protocol is different. So MTP, uh, uh, so then 10 times more powerful than, than LDAP protocol, for example. The majority of uh, uh, our most amplification attacks are easy to track uh, because because we have a fixed uh, source source port of each packet 
packet and we know the destination of the initial query. So that's why you can use just uh, so this, this information. We can put a mask uh, uh, in order to, to 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 differentiate the the packets that uh, may be packets sent by the attacker. So another another just to ask for this uh, filtration of upstream uh, for for upstream provider or upstream device. Uh, and uh, so the standard mechanism uh, uh, amplification of BGP flow spec solves problems. And uh, uh, so when you have the flow spec, you can you can tell your provider that you do not want to get. Uh, so for example, so 123 or 53, we don't need any synchronization with the time. So during the serious attack. It might be very useful just to say that to your client. Uh, so, but the sound spec, there's, there is uh, so there are two, actually three problems. Uh, with uh, uh, first one uh, is that so there is ICMP amplification, and if you just cut off the ICMP, uh, then about the people who do that, uh, so they use. Uh, uh, PT brand, uh, and uh, we should not do that because many things might break. And secondly, so there's a problem that not every amplification has a fixed uh, UDP port. Uh, so then UDP, ICMP, but there is WordPress ping back. Uh, so that's an attack uh, where the attacker is using the vulnerable uh, uh, WordPress installation, WordPress server vulnerable in order to make it uh, 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 in ATPS or in TPS, uh, uh, to, towards the victim, against the victim. Uh, that, such installations, millions uh, on the internet, uh, and any attacker, any attacker using these installations uh, and uh, so, uh, small uh, code, uh, code pieces can generate, uh, like here, so about uh, six gigabyte, six gigabyte of sin flood. Uh, uh, not only sin flood, uh, but uh, just opening the connection. So if at each uh, of this uh, connection, so if you open, if you answer with the content, uh, it will be ready. So there's several uh, scores of gigabytes per second. Uh, that's uh, uh, since. Uh, uh, so the installation of WordPress, uh, uh, so it sends another query, not only answers, but uh, puts in a query in the wrong direction. But in the event of uh, very uh, vulnerability, it does not answer. It just issues new uh, queries from a random port, source port every time uh, is different, and flow spec doesn't help. Doesn't help. And if an attack is uh, against FTPS uh, 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 encrypted resource, then all the information that we have and fix, uh, and uh, so there is not it's, all the traffic is encrypted there. So then there is another challenge. Uh, so the flow flow spec is, is expensive. And it takes a lot of resources, and the operators don't don't usually like to give uh, a flow spec or do not allow anyone to write uh, flow spec rules. Uh, Ping back uh, uh, was was the first case of uh, that of web development. Uh, uh, almost dynamics uh, that uh, created serious uh, uh, problems uh, with availability, accessibility, and uh, no one hoped that it will be the last uh, uh, case. Uh, so then the hero of February March this year uh, is another another actively used in web uh, uh, piece of uh, of software. Uh, called memcached. Uh, memcached. Uh, this is database. And then the data, data. So the user, user is used in the web uh, the, by, by the programming engineers. This is at the end of the day. It's a it's it's a key value store. So the database uh, that. Uh, uh, that this gives values by key, and that keeps all the in RAM memory uh, stores, and for different keys can generate different values. Usually, it is used as a fast in-memory cache, and that's why it's it's called that way. Uh, but many many years ago, about ten years ago, uh, so then memcached uh, authors they made a big in, uh, mistake. So by default, by default they made. This mistake, uh, the, that memcache by default, uh, so then it listens on all interfaces. Uh, that's what they do, including including those uh, that go outside, not only loopback, but uh, but uh, outside Linux uh, uh, 
or other machines. And that's how it worked by default. So by default, it listens on all interfaces outside on port 11211 VDP. Yeah, on internet in March, February, so there were lots of machines with open port VDP 11211 uh, yeah, uh, port. And uh, so this is... Uh, uh, so this is when the uh, listener uh, of the protocol uh, asks. So this, this is the uh, basic ASCII protocol. ASCII protocol does not do uh, identification. Uh, so only in, in extreme cases. Uh, in extreme cases. Uh, so it's only in local secured network. Uh, uh, um, works. Um, that, that's why we, they did not did not embed any uh, identification there, identification there, authentication at all. They they have not built in any authentication. Doesn't doesn't do uh, authentication. Then then they found many methods how to how to how to work with ASCII protocol in Mancash uh, since this moment. Uh, uh, so it's not it's not nice to use it, but uh, it's still part of the code, uh, part of the code. And uh, so we, uh, so then the one, uh, so uh, it was, was a presentation on Black Chat United States. And uh, so then an, inject, uh, an attacker can inject arbitrary data into memory. Mm -hmm. And in 2017, so we uh, found out uh, uh, that uh, it's not all that we can do with it. So three Chinese researchers, uh, uh, three, three guys. Uh, so they found out uh, an ability for the attacker can send data from memory yeah, to a third party via spoofing victims' uh, IP address. Uh, so that's uh, against any any IP address uh, on the internet. It works like this. This is what uh, this uh, code uh, looks like. This is full. It's not a snippet. This is a full code uh, that it's uh, you do this code and then you add any value to it, a random value, uh, so this uh, value into the memory of a remote memcache uh, server. Uh, so the address reflect example dot com enough, and then the value may be of, of different size, uh, random size. So to organize this attack, uh, so you put this. Uh, a piece of code once, and that's enough. Um, then the attacker needs to send packages, uh, packets to this vulnerable server, so with IP uh, address of the source of the of the of the victim, and then uh, uh, the pilot. Uh, and uh, this is what the attacker needs to do to send uh, to send this value, the value that we put into it. Uh, under key A uh, against the victim, against the, it's very, the get, very simple uh, method. Uh, so then the value on key A can be used many times. And besides, uh, so since uh, uh, so memcache is a good database, so then the, uh, the get function takes several parameters, uh, receives but every key uh, can be done uh, several times, even if it's duplicated. So you can see everything you need to do to send the same value five times. For example, all you have to do is just to add uh, so to uh, to uh, to these two, two things twice. And you can just increase the traffic five times, ten times, one hundred times, and then the size of the packet will end. Then remembering. And that the amplification factor, uh, the the TP, NTP was the uh, uh, record breaker in the amplification factor. Very difficult to calculate it, but the size of this absolute record breaker, so five five seven amplification factor. So one byte sent, we we got five five seven against the victim, and that's uh, so mem cached. Um, that that the theoretical amplification factor is millions and millions. Uh, and uh, uh, although in practice, since all the packs of the, uh, they're not, they're not, the answers are not sent, they don't, they're not queued up and they're not uh, taken out from the queue. And the, so about this, about the factors, about 9,000, 10,000, which is 20 times the NTP amplification factor. Mm. Then in February, and during the, uh, uh, then in Kathmandu, uh, so that's exactly what happened. And we saw in our network uh, the incidence about 500 gigabytes per second. And uh, uh, on the basis of the architecture of our network and, and other 
Yes, another. And uh, so we uh, forecasted yes, uh, this, uh, that the data that was reflected as 500 gigabytes per second in other networks, it could be 1.5 terabytes per second. So then it, it turned out to be 1.7 terabytes per second, and that's exactly, we almost got it right. Got it right. So where all these mem cache servers come from? And this, so then there are some operating systems like uh, uh, very stable, stable Red Hat uh, or NTOS. Memcache listens on all interfaces, uh, supports VGP, and don't doesn't require any authentication. Also Zimbra, etc. Uh, so then the Memcache just gets onto the vulnerable system. Um, so when I spoke to Red Hat uh, representatives, they they said that. Uh, that uh, the combination of Red Hat to fight this problem, uh, so they have C Linux, uh, which is good uh, to fight it. But if you Google C Linux, uh, you will see that uh, the most uh, the most queer the most uh, number of queries to C Linux is how to how to switch it off, and uh, and Google provides uh, the search engine this, uh, to 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 process this uh, these queries. And so this is the question to uh, uh, to Red Hat that C Linux is not the best means to fight this problem. So how, how can we mitigate this? Uh, mitigate this? So once again, uh, we spoke about BCP38 and other approaches how to fight uh, spoof traffic. So the root of the problem of the application attacks is the traffic uh, uh, with the uh, 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 with, with the counterfeit uh, uh, source. So, and uh, so then we need just to think what kind of methodology they can use uh, to, uh, to uh, so that the spoofed the spoofed traffic so that it will come to them. Mm. So how to do that? So make sure that your network uh, you don't have any vulnerable mm cache servers, EGP one one to one one, and uh, uh, and uh, if you see the incoming traffic uh, for from this port, you can always use firewall if you have enough power or flow spec. If uh, if the upstream operator provided it to you to filter this kind of traffic, then uh, so the snippet snippet for IOX XR uh, job job of jobs now job sniders. Uh, it's in the on the on, it was on the mailing list and. Uh, yeah. And this presentation is on the site. Uh, what uh, the remaining several minutes? <coughs> I would like to dedicate to discuss what's next when uh, when when this thing happens again. Uh, because we 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 know that web web developers uh, will never stop at that. And uh, and so gaming uh, uh, won't even think about stopping. Uh, and so it's time to discuss uh, 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 possible traps, uh, these possible threats uh, with the bigger community. This a year and a half ago, we we have seen uh, uh, so more than one terabyte per second on Internet of Things attacks. We heard we have just seen. And then there appeared lots of working groups and nonprofits who launched to address the the uh, Internet of Things problem, etc. Mm. Mm. So because they realize so the memcache problem is not an Internet of Things, uh, and uh, and that is why. Uh, so what should we expect then? Mm. Mm. Uh, then um, another. What is more serious now? And that's what uh, we need to start thinking about seriously because memcached. Uh, so the theoretical threat. Uh, so then all to the practical threat. Uh, uh, so that it took only three three months. So when it was a theoretical threat, it turned into practical, uh, clear danger. Only three months passed. And uh, so then the uh, uh, with Cisco Smart install uh, uh, vulnerability of Cisco uh, from patch uh, to real threat. Uh, oh, uh, so when uh, so when uh, so when uh, so they went to 100 people just went to MMM9 just to uh, to uh, to re to reboot uh, their their uh, their routers. Uh, so only two weeks passed, and this is very dangerous. And uh, so the meltdown it is close. So a big uh, computer, just five six corporations, big community and the developers of Linux. So this uh, so this approach didn't work. Uh, and uh, so th there is no protection. 
So what's next? We need to discuss what we need to uh, to uh, to focus on. Not maybe not Internet of Things, but mostly security problems, uh, and to cooperate, uh, collaborate, uh, so to respond to them uh, in a timely fashion. I would I would even uh, uh, suggest uh, to. Uh, uh, to set up some kind of CERT or CIRT uh, for network operators. Uh, but, uh, but in, in Europe, uh, CERT uh, people are, uh, uh, makes, makes them uh, uh, weary. Weary, makes them weary. So people are apprehensive of these names. So CERT and CIRT. So this, uh, but I, I'm not that I want to call it, but uh, how it should work. So we need just a working group that quickly will respond to such threats. And uh, so that is why we need to, to discuss it. And uh, so please uh, approach, discuss, and maybe we'll figure out what to do next. You have services, uh, radar services, uh, and uh, they added to my autonomous system. And it would be great if I could get some notification if you if you catch uh, an amplificator in 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 uh, it's coming. No, it's not coming. It's on, but it's not coming. It should come. So after the presentation, so let's let's touch base. So we'll discuss it. So because notifications should come, sure. should come. Mm. And uh, so there is another problem with notifications. And there are 10,000 amplificators in the network, and the amplificator says that there is still another one popping up, and uh, so that's a problem. There's too many. Uh, and, uh, so then no more than 10, right? Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, this slide uh, uh, so just uh, scares me uh, because it says, "What do we do?" Okay, let me let me take you out of this stupor. Yeah, uh, I want to stay in, in stupor uh, just to uh, uh, to ask you more questions because and we need to finish uh, this discussion. Uh, the issue is that uh, so now we we live very badly, right? Right now, just let's not do it anymore. So let's see, try to avoid it. And but how? Yes, so everyone, everyone should do, CERT should do what it's supposed to do. What kind of CERT? CERT not, no, no, it's important. Which, which, which CERT should, should do what it should do? Yeah. What, would, what do you call CERT? A CERT that should be responsible for such things. What's, what's its name? Does it exist? What's its name of CERT? So incidents of security. Uh, it should be responsibility of of the of the of the group that that is that responds to the incidents of security. So there should be a special group. Uh, so what do you mean this question mark here for network operators? So because uh, we have to have special, yeah, yeah, because we need to set up such groups. Uh, yes, they need to start appearing such groups that that will provide this kind of service and fight it. So why the existing CERTs don't do it? This is serious because we, we do have some CERTs and they don't do anything because because the first two points uh, and uh, and uh, so uh, the, the, the last the last point why the existing CERTs ag ignore the issues related to uh, to the network security? Why? That's a good question. Is there an answer to it or not? Because certainly you can start uh, uh, search in uh, within up, uh, network operators, uh, so but then we'll be making the same mistake over and over again. So we'll be just uh, uh, fragment fragmenting the problem, uh, break it down into different centers of responsibility, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, at best uh, at best. Uh, so this will lead to the inefficient work and and more uh, and I think that it happens most of the time uh, so it will turn into kind of uh, uh, passing the buck uh, and uh, so there will be just ping pong of responsibilities and uh, so then the new certs uh, uh, better certs uh, uh, but we need to consolidate rather than creating new we need to consolidate this kind of industry okay point by point so first two points. Uh, so why not just uh, why not just to, to trying to convince you that we need to do that? Uh, and uh, uh, I, I, I'm not going to convince you, but the idea because there is no need to convince anyone uh, because what's happened, what what is written here is not happening. That's the problem. No, no. Uh, so let's go back to it. But once again, uh, we uh, we for example we. So we're hungry, right? There is no food, right? And it would be great if we could eat something. 
So what? how is that for quick solution, right? Yes, that's right. We need to address this issue, but there is no food. You know, it's just we just you rephrase the problem, but you're not trying to address it. So we need collaboration. That's true. But it doesn't exist because people don't understand what the hell is going on. But collaboration it does, it does not exist. Uh, but people are sitting and thinking that oh, collaboration is impossible because this is this is something that exists. And, 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 uh, no, no, yes, yes, possible. No, it's not possible. No, no, it's possible. No, this is this is impossible because we need just to figure out what's possible, what's impossible, and why it's happening, what's happening. Hmm. And uh, so we're just rephrasing the problem, but the problem is still there. And it's not it's not even being addressed. And uh, so this is outside questions and answers. So we need to cooperate and work together. This is a serious issue, and we, and we need just to pull resources to do it together. So then it's uh, this we need this. It's not you know, no more explanations are required. And uh, by the way, this issue that has to do with the working group, working group, it's it's not that easy to set up a working group. Yeah, because. Uh, uh, so because you, even if you wish, you, you wouldn't be able just to, to, to put together this working group. I didn't know that it would be so difficult for me to, uh, to uh, set up a holding uh, a working group. Let me finish. Uh, so, but there is a there is a working group where it's discussed, being discussed, and that's where you can just uh, uh, just add it to to, to, to the questions and the discussion. So, why don't you go join the, the working groups where these subjects uh, are being discussed right now? So, at least there are some problems. I think that there are such uh, working groups. Uh, so, the right group uh, uh, could be. But right group, I, di I didn't, I didn't see any positive uh, uh, discussions there vis-a-vis uh, -vis this matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first two points. Okay, we need to change. Okay, then concerning the uh, cert, uh, cert. Uh, so there are many certs. That's that's true. But cert is usually is a commercial organization or not uh, not even commercial, but it's uh, set up by someone with certain purposes and uh, for certain purposes. Not a single. Uh, Alex, I'm answering your question. Not, not a single existing cert, uh, not, not in the charter, not in the business purposes, working with network operators. It doesn't exist there. This, this chapter is not there. Uh, so working with the network operators. That's, that's exactly right. So let's not, not, let's not generate a new, a new certs that will be just playing ping pong with old certs. You know, this it makes no point. And uh, okay, let me turn around. Let me turn around your arguments and attack you. Any more questions uh, besides, uh, uh, sir? Uh, besides Lyosha's questions, uh, is there anyone else who, who would like to ask, uh, ask a question? Okay, no question. So then let's take a coffee break and uh, thank the speaker.